Is C sharp better than Visual Basic? Oh no you didn't, Gavin. Oh yes I did. I went there. So why do we even have programming languages? Well, this is how I would answer that question. We have programming languages because they provide a communication bridge between humans and machines. Can you imagine if you needed to write a large application in machine code, just ones and zeros? It would take about 100 billion or even 100 trillion years to complete the application. Your project manager would not like the ETA. Even a layer of abstraction above machine code like assembly language would probably only cut the ETO by a few million years, which is clearly not good enough. So this is why human readable programming languages were created, so that humans can easily understand the code logic they write, and then the compiler is a separate concern which compiles the human readable code into the scary ones and zeros binary code not easily understood by humans. Machine language code that your computer CPU understands. So the communication bridge between humans and machines was successfully built in the form of higher level programming languages like C, C++, Java, and of course Visual Basic and C Sharp. Of course, there are many high level programming languages to choose from these days. So why have I opened with this introduction? Well, because Visual Basic was designed primarily with human readability and ease of use in mind. It was designed as a human friendly language that could enhance RAD, rapid application development. If we look at a basic code comparison between C Sharp and Visual Basic, we can see we have the if then syntax in Visual Basic for this basic logical condition, which is very easily read by humans. This is arguably slightly more human readable, especially for less experienced developers than its C Sharp code counterpart, where you have just the if, then the logical condition in brackets. This C Sharp code is slightly more esoteric in nature than the VB code, which may appeal to more seasoned developers who like their code to be more C based and prefer a more symbolic syntax which is evident in the curly brackets by which the code blocks are demarcated. Visual Basic version 5 was the first programming language that I used professionally back in the late 1990s. This was, of course, before the release of the .NET framework and C Sharp. Visual Basic at this point was largely event driven and not a fully object oriented programming language. So this is before VB became VB.NET. Visual Basic.NET, of course, is a fully object-oriented programming language and runs on the same software substrate as C Sharp, which of course is .NET. I always found Visual Basic a pleasure to work with because of its ease of use, and it was easy to understand the code, which was great, especially when faced with a large project. Prior to attaining my first job as a programmer, when I was studying computer science, I did study C and C++, which gave me a solid foundation for understanding how programming languages and compilers work. I was, however, very grateful when faced with deadlines and the real world in my first programming job that I was able to work with a language like Visual Basic. Its readability, maintainability, and overall simplicity made life a lot easier than if I was faced with loads of esoteric code to manage. The first project that I was given was this huge insurance administration application designed for insurance brokers. The logic was super complex and I was grateful that it was written in Visual Basic and not some esoteric language that would have added to an already super steep learning curve. So I had a baptism of fire as a young junior developer and Visual Basic became my very good friend because it made my life a lot easier. So I actually have a fondness for Visual Basic. Those who frequently watch my videos know that C Sharp is my favorite programming language, but Visual Basic certainly has a special place in my heart. I would actually even go so far as to recommend it as a first programming language for those that are new to programming because of its focus on being human readable. However, now that I'm a seasoned developer, I wouldn't choose Visual Basic as my language of choice. I do prefer C style languages and C Sharp is my favorite language. It's my language of choice where possible. But in this video, let's do a very basic comparison between C Sharp and Visual Basic to highlight both the similarities and differences between the two languages. So let's look briefly at a history of Visual Basic and then we'll take a brief look at the history of C Sharp. But before we do that, 
If you are liking this video so far, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I really love reading your comments, so please feel free to include a comment. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on a language like Visual Basic. Would you still use a language like Visual Basic? All comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavinlon Digital. A history of Visual Basic. Visual Basic VB is a programming language developed by Microsoft, first released in 1991. It was designed to make programming more accessible by allowing developers to create graphical user interface GUI applications easily using a drag and drop environment. VB was built upon the basic. Beginners, all purpose, symbolic instruction code language, enhancing it with event driven programming and rapid application development tools. Widely used through the 1990s for Windows software, Visual Basic became especially popular for business applications. At final standalone version, VB 6.0 was released in 1998, after which it evolved into Visual Basic.net, VB.net, under the .NET framework marking a significant shift towards object-oriented programming and modern software architecture. A history of C-sharp. C-sharp is a modern object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft, first released in 2000 as part of its .NET initiative. Led by Anders Halsberg, C-sharp was designed to combine the power and flexibility of C++ with the simplicity of Visual Basic. So it's very interesting that C Sharp, at least in part, was inspired by certain aspects of Visual Basic. It was intended to be a robust, type-safe language for building a wide range of applications, particularly on the Windows platform. With features like garbage collection, strong type checking, and support for modern programming paradigms, C Sharp quickly gained popularity among developers. Over the years, it has evolved significantly, incorporating functional programming features, asynchronous programming support, and cross-platform capabilities, solidifying its role as a core language in the .NET ecosystem. So before we swallow down the delicious details of comparing these two languages, Visual Basic and C-Sharp, let's look at a few code example comparisons to give you at least a little taste of how these languages differ syntactically. So here is a Hello World example written in Visual Basic. And here, is its counterpart code written in C-sharp. Here's an example of an if statement logical condition written in Visual Basic. And here is its counterpart code written in C-sharp. Here's an example of a for loop written in Visual Basic. And here is its counterpart code written in C-sharp. Here's an example of a class written in VB. And here is an example of its counterpart code written in C-sharp. Here's an example of code working with a generic list in Visual Basic. And here's its counterpart code written in C-sharp. So here's a concise comparison of C-sharp versus Visual Basic across key aspects. Syntax and style. C Sharp has a C style syntax similar to C and Java, with its use of curly braces and semicolons. Visual Basic, VB.NET, has English like syntax, which is more verbose and beginner friendly. Performance. Both VB.NET and C Sharp are compiled into intermediate language, IL code, and run on the .NET CLR. So performance is clearly identical in most scenarios. IDE and tools. Both C Sharp and Visual Basic are fully supported in Visual Studio, including IntelliSense, debugging, and UI design tools. Learning curve. VB.NET is often considered easier for beginners due to its more readable syntax. C Sharp appeals to those familiar with C style languages, 
and is more common in academic and enterprise settings. Community and industry adoption. C Sharp has a much larger and more active community, widely used in enterprise development, game development, for example, Unity, and cross platform apps. VB.NET has a smaller, declining user base. Microsoft continues to support it, but it's no longer the focus for future development. Features and language evolution. C Sharp is on the cutting edge of new.NET features, for example, pattern matching, records, async await improvements. VB.NET is mostly in maintenance mode with fewer language updates. What I find very interesting is how popular Visual Basic still is. According to the Tyobi Index, it is the number eight programming language in terms of its popularity, which is kind of interesting. As I said earlier, I still have a special place in my heart for Visual Basic. I'm glad I started out programming in Visual Basic. I think it made my life a lot easier because it really is an easy language with which to work. However, now if I had to choose between C Sharp and Visual Basic, there really is no contest. I will always choose C Sharp where possible. I hope you've enjoyed this basic comparison between C Sharp and Visual Basic. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do that at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage. It will of course be greatly appreciated. I really love reading your comments, so please feel free to include a comment. Please let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on a language like Visual Basic? Would you still use a language like Visual Basic? All comments are welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. If you'd like to follow me on X, my username is at Gavin Lon Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.